Hey race fans, welcome back to Drewster Racing. Wanted to put together a quick video, introduce myself, go over my race bike, and just take you along a quick training ride. I am out of breath. Just finished climbing Lookout Mountain. Still getting back in shape. Um, right now at about 180 pounds. Trying to get down to 170 for race season, which I think is doable. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go on a ride. All right, found a nice quiet spot. Finally caught my breath. We're in, I think, Genesee Park and thought it'd be a good time to show you guys my race bike for 2023. All right, so here it is, my race bike for 2023. And it is a Cannondale Super 6 Evo High Mod with Shimano Dura Ace. This is the EF Education Team Edition. Um, it was actually raced by the team last season. It belonged to Tom Scully. Um, looks like he rides a lot of the, the classics, um, does some stage races as well. Um, but yeah, this thing's incredible and it came in perfect shape. I don't know if this was his race bike, training bike, or a backup bike, but the components were absolutely flawless um, out of the box. And the frame was perfect aside from a few scratches you might be able to see on the fork, but that honestly could have just been from travel throughout the season. So when I've purchased this bike, um, I was only able to select the size, so I could when I put my order and I selected a size 58 frame, but I had no idea what the specs would be on this bike. I, I didn't know what handlebars I'd be getting, the size of the chain rings, cassette, everything. It was all based on what the rider um, was riding in the prior season. And there were two specs I was extremely worried about. Number one being the stem and handlebar sizing, and if you look at the photo, this thing's huge. Looking at the stem, it's an FSA K4 stem carbon. Um, same with the bars. But yeah, it's 140 millimeters long with a negative 12 degree angle, fully slammed. So this is a much more aggressive setup than my current bike and my previous bikes. I think on my last bike, it was like around 100 mil. Not slammed. Um, but yeah, this one is surprisingly comfortable. I find myself riding in the hoods, the tops, the drops, um, and really having no issues. Back feels fine. And yeah, I've gone on some longer rides, like 70, 80 miles, and I've had absolutely no issues with the, uh, the fit of this bike. So my next worry was the chain rings or the gearing on this bike. And if you can see, <laughs> this thing comes with an absolute dinner plate. It's a 5440. Um, I was really excited about the 54, um, especially for like descents, sprints. So that seemed like a fun, fun uh, new chain ring to have. But the 40 really worried me. I like to do a lot of climbing. And I know for some of those steeper climbs here in, in Colorado, that might be an issue. Um, but I've actually taken it on a few steep climbs, and the 40 isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I have an 1130 in the back. And yeah, with the 40 and the 30, it's it's not too bad. There are a few steep pitches on some of the climbs here, specifically Witter Gulch, where it gets a little tricky. Um, but when I rode that, my fitness wasn't the best. So I think with a little bit of fitness and strength, I'm going to be fine with the 40. And then I always have the option to throw on like an 1132 or 1134. Um, and then I'll have absolutely no, no issues at all in the mountains. All right, so I'll quickly run through the rest of the specs. This bike came with full Dura-Ace Di2 12-speed. Of course, aside from the chain rings, those are FSA, one of the EF Education sponsors. Um, also, same with the bars, those are FSA, um, K-Force, along with the, the stem. Wheels are Vision Metron, um, 55 millimeter deep wheels. This bike comes with the Cannondale Super 6 uh, carbon seat post. I actually ended up raising that up quite a bit. I'm 81 centimeters from the top of the seat down to the bottom bracket. Um, the previous rider, Tom Scully, his was set at about 78 or 77. And the saddle is a pro logo saddle with carbon rails. I weighed the bike prior to putting on the pedals and it came in at about 15.8 pounds or I think a touch over 7.1 kilo. Uh, so relatively light for a bike with electronic shifting, disc brakes, and a size 58 frame. So I'm pretty thrilled. Um, and I would imagine with those pedals, it's now a touch over 16. 
If there are any other specs I might have missed or any questions you have about the bike, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer those. But yeah, this will be my race bike for 2023. Can't express enough how excited I am to finally get to race this bike. And I'll have some race videos coming out shortly. The season for me looks like it'll be starting on March 26th, the Maverick Road Race. So I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.